Hello everybody, I am back, and this is a mod pack, a uh, small mod pack that my friend told me about and really wanted me to try. And, um, this is a server that has the mod pack. It is called The Crafting Dead. It is very cool. I've got really into it the last few, uh, last week or so. It is really cool if you like, um, basically it's just the the walking dead in minecraft but there's so much more than that it's guns it's uh tons of new weapons tons of new guns and uh like i think i saw it. uh like i said this is a server that i found um with the mod pack and um i just wanted to tell you guys about it so that we could get a few more players on here there are not very many players on right now there's uh only three players on right now um but during the day there's usually um uh, about 10 or 20 but um uh just trying to get a few more people on here if you guys are interested i probably will put the link in the description or i'll put a the IP in the description for the server, and I will also put um, the mod pack and uh, the link to download Technic if you guys don't have it, because it requires Technic to download. But it's really easy. All you have to do is download Technic and then search the Crafting Dead, and then download the mod pack, and then you're ready to go. And <laughs> Is all you need to do is um, so here's how you join everything uh, you go to play go to multiplayer you go to Minecraft servers you add a server and let me show you this is the IP for the for the network I guess you would say or the IP um, it's a really cool server you guys should join it it's really fun. I play on here a lot. Okay, and it does that sometimes. It just means you need to just cancel and try again. It does that once in a while. All you have to do is try it a few more times. And here you go. And um, also, if you go in the portal, you may sometimes get stuck in the wall. If you ever d get have trouble with that, just do slash server cd, and it will automatically connect you to the crafting dead server. Um, unfortunately, the um, mod pack is on 1.5.2, I think. So if you're used to the 1.7 control sprint. You're gonna have a little problem. Took me a while to get used to, but this uh, server is so awesome. You might as well just get used to it because it's not easy. It's not hard to get used to, but it's totally worth it because this server is amazing. There aren't too many people, so you're not gonna get killed as often. Unfortunately, there will be bandits on once in a while. You'll have to look out for those. Uh, this mod pack does have a lot of really cool guns. Um. There are also these things called supply drops, which are basically these uh, big crates that fall from the sky at a, every 20 minutes at a certain coordinate. Uh, it's like different, like every, or it's it's always different, but usually they drop in like maybe I'm just gonna guess like five general areas. Of course, this is a smaller map. So there's, um, you're never really too far away. Um, I suggest buying one of these. It's a compass. It, it, if you look at my bottom right corner, you will see uh, coordinates, and it says northeast, south, and west. Um, they are very helpful, and they tell you your coordinates so that you can don't have to F3 all the time. And um, that's about it. And if you look... Um, I want one to spawn, but one just spawned, so I might do a different video on that tomorrow or so. Um, but in the top right corner, you can see that I have uh, 490 zombie kills. Uh, water. Water is another thing that you will need. Um, you can hold them with uh, canteens, and you can find like 
little on the since there's nobody really on right now. This is a zombie. They have different skins than the usual ones, and they are different than the usual ones. They're a little bit smarter and such. Now, what you want to do on a server like this, if you find, uh, if you get all the mod packs and everything, what you want to do is find these little things. These are um, loot, and that the yellow ones, there are like seven different kinds maybe. There's gray, which is not very rare at all. There's gold, which is kind of rare. There's uh, diamond, which is rare. There's emerald, which is really rare. Well, super rare. And then there's a dark green, which is military loot, which all usually has the best stuff. And it is really rare. It's like super rare. It's the rarest one to find, but it if you can find a spawner of it, yeah, that's pretty good. You will want to stay in that general area. Um, so on this block, uh, the gold ones will spawn here every time. They will spawn like every... It's kind of a random time when they spawn, but um, they spawn... About every five or ten minutes, here's another emerald one and ghillie clothing. Yeah, um, also you can see my humanity is 5,000. It is the maximum it can get. Uh, once you reach 700, like you get humanity for killing zombies. And if you kill players, your humanity will go down because you're not supposed to kill players. But people do it anyway, unfortunately. Um, what you want to do is get your humanity up to 700 because you, okay, you get 25 humanity every, uh, zombie you kill and every player you kill, I don't know how much it goes down, but it goes down about 50 every player kill. So once you get 700 humanity, which is 28 zombies, I'm pretty sure, you will get what is called a hero armor. It's the best armor in the mod. Because you usually don't find like diamond armor and gold armor and iron armor, so you you have to find the armor that's in the mod. Um, this is ghillie clothing. It's an armor. It takes. F it has five little uh, armor points, and hero armor is the best, and it gives you seven. Uh, like I said, you get it after you uh, get. 28 zombie kills or 700 humanity. Um, you can also, what you ought to do after you download the mods and everything, set like, um, there are some hotkeys that you probably need to know, like G, uh, I've changed it to P, but what you do is it opens your crafting dead inventory where you can put tactical vests, backpacks, and guns, and obviously melee weapons bunch of new melee weapons, bunch of new guns, and uh, what you can do is quick gun, which all you have to do is press a certain key that you've set it to, and it automatically pulls out the gun that's on your back. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's about it, really. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, you guys should really join this server, it's really awesome. And it's a lot easier of a server if you're getting just if you're just getting started with the mod. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If there's anything that you think I missed or something that you're having a trouble or having trouble with, just tell me in the comments below. I look at them any chance that I get, which is all the time. And so yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys later, but. Before I go, I'm just going to go over like two more things before I end the video. But that's about it. Um, the only other thing that I really have to say is that there is... Um, you see the water up at the top and you see the blood. The blood is for when... if Once you get hit a certain amount of times, you will start bleeding. And you need bandages to stop it. And bandages are not too rare, but they're rare enough that you don't just find them everywhere. 
and um, if you if either your water or your blood get down to zero percent you will start dying of course if you have a full hunger and you start healing them back it, you won't like you'll just instantly heal back but uh, so it's not that much trouble also if you have armor you have a lot less likely chance of bleeding so yeah also if you're one of those people who's like okay I got full hearts I, I can survive a fall um, try not to just jump off buildings because um, if you jump from like five blocks or so there is a like there's a good chance that you will break your leg and you'll get slowness you'll get a lot of slowness and you won't be able to move very fast so yeah you need a makeshift splint or morphine to fix a broken leg so last thing you want is a broken leg because it makes you go so slow and it's very hard to get away from zombies so yeah but like I said if you guys find anything else that I didn't go over or something that you're having trouble with please tell me in the comments below and I will see you guys later I hope to see you guys on this server and if you do get on the server because of me try and get on here and if I'm on here go ahead and say hey um, I came from your channel hi and um, I will give you okay ouch I just hit my mic I'm so, I'm so sorry guys um, I had to hit my face and I hit my mic. Um, if you guys get on here and say, "Hey, I'm your from your channel. Thanks for introducing and thanks for introducing me. I will most likely give you some stuff because I do have a rank on here, a five dollar rank, which is runner, and it gives me a gun and some ammo, a backpack, uh, one can peaches. It gives me canteen basically just some good starting stuff if you guys find me on here just go to these coordinates that you see in the bottom right corner and if I'm on here I will give you guys some stuff um, if you don't find me here say hey I'm at the shop and I'm from your channel could you please give me some stuff and I will go ahead and give you a whole kit runner which is really good oh hey there's a supply drop I'm gonna since there's nobody really on I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now, let me just tell you something. They do not always spawn. Once in a while, they will not spawn. And there will just be a blank space and there will be nothing there. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. I'm going to go ahead and check the coordinates one more time. So 15, or 500, oh it just said it again in chat. So I'm just going to go ahead and go there. Let's see, 590, 380 and show you guys what's in the drop because it's usually guns and tons of good equipment um... so yeah um... Hmm. as you run your water usually goes down a lot faster when you're running uh... it's basically like another hunger thing except it goes down a lot easier than it does i think i went too far no, I didn't. So yeah, I hope it's there, because it's a lot of OP stuff. <laughs> a little bit farther than I thought that it would be. Um, okay, here's a building. Let's see. I wonder how far... I shouldn't be far away from it. Let's see... 580... or 590... 380. So it should be right over here. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is a crate drop. Let me go ahead and kill these zombies because they are really annoying me. <laughs> shot <laughs> uh, here we go oh wow well hmm there's nothing in here I wonder nobody was on here what I'm thinking is something I'm thinking that 
Oh, also, don't stand on top of these because it might kick you for flying. What I'm thinking is somebody already got to this one because if you're too far away, it might not spawn. I'm thinking that it dropped here earlier because it drops in the same place every few times. I'm thinking somebody took it and then when I was over at the shop, it didn't spawn new stuff. Ah, uh, darn. Well, that's about it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Unfortunately, uh, didn't get that. Didn't get that uh, loot drop this time. Maybe in the next video, we might go and find some. So, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you on this server. I will see you guys later. Bye.